What I would like to discuss today with you gentlemen is your anime origin story, if you will. How did you get oh. into anime? And, and how you know you discovered that you were this, gonna go down this rabbit hole of never this, coming back. This beautiful medium that uh, we, all, we all love and- And hate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So who would like to go first? I mean, do you wanna go first, Joey? Because I feel like you have the most unique yeah, most one. most likely. Yeah, I feel probably like my, my pressure on me. Pro probably out, probably out of all. Of us, I, right? I, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, I'm ha having to follow up his story is going to be fun, but uh, we'll we'll <laughs> I mean, it's not that exciting. Whatever. I mean, yeah. I guess like mine is unique in the sense that like, am, would you say I'm the only Anituba that has like grown up with anime? Like, and when I say grown up, I mean like from like age of like conceptual thought. <laughs> you know, age like, of conceptual I, thought. Yeah. Um, I, I think just being raised in a household with a Japanese parent yeah. right. probably has an immediately different attitude towards anime than yeah. the one that we would experience in like Western. Right, because like, you know, when most people say like, oh, I grew up with anime, anime <laughs> yeah. was my childhood. Like, <laughs> like you know, that usually starts at like age, like, you know, 12, Eight. maybe yeah. 10, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So like, basically like I grew up like watching Pokemon and like, um, uh, what else can I remember watching? Uh, I guess like before that though, like before Pokemon or anything like that, or, uh, you know, before I started watching like mm. One Piece or yeah. like Dragon Ball, or, like yeah. all the Shonen Jump stuff, like Japanese kids grow up with this like very certain array of like kids anime, yeah. okay. which is just absolutely not known overseas like at all. Doraemon. I, Doraemon's probably like the most well-known, but like you don't, like see an Anituba like reviewing <laughs> yeah. Doraemon. Episode 5,000 review Doraemon, <laughs> let's go. Right, <laughs> or like, you know, like one series that I grew up watching like alongside Doraemon was this show called Sazae-san. Mm, yeah, yeah, which is like I, the longest running the longest Japanese running anime, anime ever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and nobody outside of Japan has heard of it. I didn't know about it until you, I was having a conversation I mean, just to put it in perspective, it, my mom grew up watching that show <laughs> yeah. and I grew up watching yeah. that show. Right, so right. it's it's been going on since like the sixties and I think there's like, 5,000 episodes ridiculous. or yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Absurd it's still amount. going to yeah, this I know, day. I, know. I don't know how, yeah. like, I don't know, like, <laughs> because like, it's really weird because the concept of that show is like, it's just a revolving around this family mm. living in Japan. And it's just like the most like normal ass slice of life show that I've ever seen. But yeah. I also think to myself, like, how can you come up with like 40 years worth of topics? and not be like, oh, maybe we did cover this topic like 25 years ago in one of those episodes. There must be episodes that overlap. Like I feel you can't make that many episodes and not overlap. I mean, no, they probably no. could overlap, but no one's gonna be bothered yeah. to like yeah. fucking cross no, no one's No shit. one's rewatching that show, right? It's, it's one of those like, things that if it's on TV, you watch it, yeah. right? It's like, uh, uh, they covered this topic in episode 1743. <laughs> there's, there's, you know, there's one super fan in oh, Japan that's just of seen course. every episode. Of course, yeah. Um, and just knows everything about every episode. Yeah. That, that seems to be, Sazai, Sazai san? Sazai san. And yeah. Doraemon seem to be the one thing where if you ask anyone in Japan, do you watch anime? They'll be like, yeah. oh, yeah, Doraemon. And yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 yeah, and then I'm like, yeah. oh, I meant like, you know, the other anime. Like, <laughs> right, right. Because like, like anime, anime. Yeah. Like there's a distinction. <laughs> there's no boobs in that. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to imagine Doraemon with <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no god. That exists somewhere on the Probably. internet. Please don't. But Please like no. but like watching Doraemon and like Sazai san and like I could list off a number of oh, shows, yeah, yeah, but of no one would probably know. But like there's just like a certain number of shows that I think like it's just become tradition now, no matter what generation or like if you're born born and raised in the city or the you know, the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Every kid grows up watching these like really specific set of shows. Yeah. And that's just like normal to them. You know, that's like watching, you know, a Peppa Pig. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. it's just like, you don't even think about like, oh yes, it's a cartoon. Yeah. Like it's just something it's on a show. the TV, yeah. right? And then, yeah, like, I guess like the concept of like anime anime didn't hit me until maybe like, probably start when I started watching like One Piece and like Dragon Ball and like probably around like the Pokemon time. So I reckon when I was like, five or six years old. Oh my God. So so when you start realizing what anime is and probably get in, into it, yeah. that's when probably we started to watch our first anime, which yeah. was Pokemon, which right, was Dragon Ball. Right, Wars right, right. But like in my head, I'm like, yeah, Pokemon is an anime and like Samurai Jack is a cartoon. Yeah. Because yeah. at that time, like around like five or six years old, that's when oh, I started Samurai like Jack. watching like Cartoon Network, right? Mm, yeah. And I like to think that we grew up in like the golden age of Cartoon Network. I mean, I'd say so. We had Samurai Jack. We had Samurai yeah, yeah. Jack, like Dexter's Lab, Cow and Chicken, yeah. Ed and Nettie, <laughs> like so many amazing shows. And to me, it's like, okay, things on Cartoon Network are cartoons. Yeah. yeah. But things that 
are on like the VHS tapes that my grandma would send to me. <laughs> oh, that is anime. anime. Is anime. Yeah. yeah. So for me, there was like a really clear distinction. So like, I didn't have like one day this sudden realization that like, oh shit, Doraemon is an anime. Yeah. yeah. Because it was just so natural to me. 